These pictures are really a collection from literally all over the world that I've been able to pick up. Steve Vaughn's boxes of photographs document a unique career of more than 50 years in the mining industry. His qualifications as both a lawyer and geologist allow him to understand both disciplines. I don't believe that you can be a successful mining lawyer unless you really understand the, the science and the engineering that goes into the development of finding and developing a mine. So he rolls up his sleeves, he's out there doing the due diligence, he's riding a mule in the mountains of Mexico to go check out a project. He, he's really passionate about the projects themselves, about the, the geology and the potential for the projects. Born William Stearns Vaughn in Fredericton, New Brunswick in 1937, Steve Vaughn started his career in mining at 15. I got a job as a 15-year-old working underground at the Burnt Hill Tungsten Mine that was roughly 50 miles outside of Fredericton. And I started as a miner and it fascinated me. And as a result of which, I took geology that fall at UMB and from there I continued in geology and went to McGill and got a master's degree in, in, uh, in specializing in economic geology and, and exploration. An experience underground at an INCO project in Manitoba encouraged Steve to make a career change. One day I was uh, going from the 12th level to the 4th level, climbing by ladder, a new miner uh, put a hose down the, uh, the, the rays and I kept yelling to him, stop, take, turn the water off because it was freezing on the ladder instantly and I couldn't hold on to the rungs because they were solid ice. And when I got up, I thought, there has to be a better way to be in the mining business. Steve went back to school to get his law degree, securing his first job in the field at Aird and Burles. He went on to help shape both the regulations and reputation of the Canadian mining industry, working on projects like the Whitehorse Mining Initiative, amendments to the Ontario Mining Act, and the original Canamax prospectus on flow-through share financings. Steve was also a major contributor to the task force, whose findings ultimately changed industry reporting practices with the development of Instrument 43101. He likes to think ahead about what would be good for the industry and doesn't just wait for things to happen. He's knowledgeable, but also more important than that, he makes things happen. In the late 1990s, Steve helped create the World Mines Ministries Forum, bringing together officials from around the world to discuss mining policies. Steve's career has taken him to 70 countries. Um, I've been involved in negotiations with the government of Pakistan to, in fact, was involved in helping them amend the constitution of Pakistan to separate the the ownership of mineral commodities between the federal government of Pakistan and the various provinces. Steve says his travels often take him off the beaten path and into adventurous situations. Like the time he happened upon a marijuana field in Mexico or experienced desert living in Mongolia. Had this caravan of six trucks diving in, the Mon in Mongolia and we ended up staying in a gear for the night. A gear is a Mongolian tent where people live. Steve is also known for his willingness to share his knowledge by mentoring other lawyers.
Everything is in mentoring. You can go to university, you can have every conceivable degree and everything you want. You don't understand anything until you've actually been in the business and seen the practical side of converting all of this scientific theory into reality. I feel that I really learned a lot and if it had not for, been for him, I probably wouldn't you know, be a mining lawyer today. It's his passion for the industry that got me very excited about it as well. Steve taught me to understand the business is, is to be on site. You need to be with the geologists, you need to be with the engineers on site, either exploration, development or operation, because that's the best way you will understand how this industry works. It's, it's just fun. It's fun, fascinating fun, all day, every day. Thank you.